so hello guys welcome back to my channel today and oh if this is your first time joining this youtube channel welcome and for my subscribers welcome um as you all know what this youtube is all about is about studying germany and making people aware of the opportunities to study tuition free so but before we get into today i like dancing so let's do a little bit of dancing and yeah we can get back going to talk about today so we are going to talk about working in Germany as a student um, I've seen some places where people ask these questions about okay working in Germany what does it entail and stuff like that so today I'll try as much as possible to be able to explain a bit of what study <laughs> of what Working in Germany while studying is like, and I'm going to give it to you raw and just raw as it, as it is. So there is a rule in Germany for students. So as a student, you are allowed to work 20 hours per week during your school days, and then you can work. Eh, you don't have a restriction. When it comes to the holiday period meaning when there is no school on, on holidays when you get your um your visa and you come to germany and the changes i give you there's something they call offense out allowances so on that paper uh i should have mine but it's a green paper and on that paper it states that for non-eu students this is for non-eu students so for non-EU students, we are allowed to work 240 half days and 120 full days in a year. So what happens is that um, during your school days, uh, during your school period, you, as I said, you're only allowed to work 20 hours a week. And some people do work more than that. But well, it all appears that like you have to pay tax, even with the 20 hours per, per week. You also have to pay tax at the end of it because you're going to earn more than 450 euros which is what they term here mini jobs and for mini jobs as i said earlier you don't pay tax but when you when you earn more than 450 euro job then you have to pay tax so when you work a 20 hours per week job of course you pay if you have worked to 20 hours you pay a little bit tax from there and then if you work more than that you pay tax just like during the school holidays when you also work you get to pay tax at the end of it so i see some people really asking me actually i'll tell you guys the story i had a cousin and no name to be mentioned no 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 so he called me one day i was like oh ifoma um i've calculated i'm making like three thousand euros a month i'm like uh-huh Eh? Eh? What the hell are you talking about? Even some, <laughs> even sometimes, people that are graduates and working don't end up to three thousand a month. I you are telling me you are going to earn three thousand a, a month? Please, how is that possible? So he started explaining to me. Um, he, he said there there are some companies that work three shifts. I was like, yeah, yes, they they are. He was like, he will be working more than one <laughs> one shift. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, you need to calm down. And I think sometimes people, um, will I say, probably let's say they don't have the right information, so they over they over exaggerate on what actually is on ground. So I remember when I went back home this December. So I was talking with my auntie actually, and she was like, oh, you for man, how much do you make monthly? I was like, you want me to tell you that in euros or in naira? She was like, in naira. So, not because I don't have 
I don't think you have a particular amount you earn monthly here for students because it all depends. You might be having practicals, you don't have time to even work in a week. And if the job, if you don't have a job that is also possible for you to work during the weekend, my sister, my brother, when are you going to work now? Because you cannot leave school and say you are going to go and work. So I'm like, okay, on the average, I will say 450 euros. Though sometimes I don't actually make <laughs> the 450, but we are talking about average. So I told her, uh, let's calculate that. So 400 euros is like, for one euro is like 400 naira, right? So I was like, 160,000. And then if you add 50 euros on top of it, so it's, <laughs> it's how much? It's like 120, uh, it's 160 plus 20,000. Is hundred and eighty thousand. She was like, "What? You earn hundred and eighty thousand naira in a in a month?" I'm like, "Yeah, but you need to calm down." The thing that people don't understand is that. But before I get there, let me complete this story. So I was like, "Calm down, calm down." You know how much I pay in rent. You know how much I pay for my rent. She was like, "Okay, how much?" I'm like, "Let's say." 250 something euros and she was like ah ifoma how much is it in naira and i'm like okay in naira that's about uh let's call it hundred and ten thousand and that's let me tell you it's actually like not too expensive although there are some places you can also get it might be like 200 depends on the city and the place everything is not like there's no like constant price or constant cost on housing. So I was like, I paid like 110,000. <laughs> Guess what she asked me? <laughs> that was really funny. She asked me, is it pay? <sighs> I said, I wish. <laughs> I really wish it was pay. I said, no, it's per month. I'm like, so when someone says, oh, they earn this amount and people want to change it in Naira, and this is like talking about Nigeria, they want to change it in Naira and like they don't know the expenses you have to make here too. That is just for housing. And then for insurance, depending on what you are using. And concerning the insurance, I will talk about that in another video. So for the insurance, if you choose to go for a private insurance, I will talk about insurance later. Let me not put everything in one video. So when you talk about, um, if, if let's say you pay insurance, let's say between the range of, let me just start there, 35 euros to let's say 90 something euros in a month. And then if you want us to convert that in Naira, it's like, uh, let's say 10,000 to almost 30 something thousand naira in a month and you have to pay this monthly because let me try i'm not going to that we'll go into that in the next video so you see when you already make that calculation you're you've almost used how much let's call it 120 uh, 140,000 that is gone out of how much that you are thinking I make, 180,000. You have to feed. And it's not like, oh, food is like, well, in the Euro aspect, it might be cheap. But in the, if you are trying to change it in Naira, like think again. So that's just like, people need to be realistic about what they are planning. And the thing is that when you walk during the holidays, they also have to take their tax. You pay tax. Now, you can actually apply for something they call tax return uh, in the next year. You can apply for it. But that depends because the, the system has to also calculate and see what is available for you at the end of it. If they can give you something back, they give you. If they can't, they don't. But if you have worked more than you are required to work or you are you are allowed to work you might actually be owing this the system and you have to pay them so 
that's just it. So my my whole message of this video is that people need to be aware that it's not as it seems. Like you don't come and then you start you start having <laughs> millions. Let me tell you something. Most okay in the developed countries, let me tell you, almost everybody is on debt. You see someone riding a nice car. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. No, there is nothing wrong with it. But that car, they, they pay it monthly, right? They pay a particular amount monthly. And then people back home like, Oh, this person is cruising and stuff. But meanwhile, you don't even know how that person is making that payment. So I just want people to be like, be realistic of like what you're expecting. And please, it's good when you have the German language. At least know something a1 a2 b1 know something even if you are know some German even if you are studying in English because it helps you to have a wider um, a broader opportunity of jobs that you can do now there are several jobs here you can work like um, production companies if you are lucky, you can get to work in the university you can get to work in the university clinic that's one that's if you take pay and if you see something really nice so you can get to work you can even clean so you see people need to start being realistic so like very realistic of what they are expecting you clean and you do a lot of stuff so for my folks <laughs> for my folks in, in in germany already and maybe you're struggling to get find a job or something i don't know i'll just give you some of the websites I actually go to to check for jobs and stuff. So I go to JobMensa, JobMensa.de. You can also check the Stellenberg of the city you are in or a nearby city that you can actually go and work. You can also check the Studentenweg and you can also check Indeed or simply just type on Google student job in your city and you might be able to get something. You have to apply as many as possible if you are desperate for it and depend on what you are looking for so that's what it is mostly about study um, about working in Germany and I oh something else so when it comes to like um, the minimum wage or minimum pay per hour I think now it has increased to 9 euro 18 cent per hour that doesn't mean you won't see anybody paying 8 euros something per hour. Some people pay 10, some pay 12. Oh, there are still some that pay 15. So it all depends. 15 euros per hour. So it all depends. Like, it's about, no, it's not really about, it's a quick way of making money. As a student, you get to go through. Sometimes you get to go through a lot because the study system is different. And then if you are solely responsible for your, fi for your finance, it's extra wahala. <laughs> it's extra responsibility. So that's just what I'm trying to say. So that will be it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any question, drop it in the comment section below. If you are new to my channel again, welcome and you can subscribe to be updated. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now, let me go and get on with my day. Ciao!